Hey guys, today we are at Tool Marsh, or maybe it's Thule Marsh, I'm not sure. And it is a small uh, little nature center in Rockport, Texas. Um, it's about five acres. It is a restoration project in cooperation with the city and the uh, chamber and some other organizations. They took this area and have been working diligently to combat the problem that we have in the area with invasive uh, tree species, trees and shrubs. And so they cleared this area out and have been able to get the native plants to regrow and fresh water to accumulate and the wildlife has come back. So it's a really nice little area. It's got a beautiful boardwalk that runs through um, the the whole habitat. There's some pondy areas, marshy areas, and also some trees and shrubs. They also have a pavilion in the center and in fall particularly they have a hummingbird migration. So this is a a nice spot to come and see the hummingbirds. Um, most people know after watching my videos that for me um, what I look for in a place that I'm going to visit as a photographer is an area where I can get close to the birds and without disturbing them or get eaten, getting eaten by snakes and such like that. And I, I really like this place. It's not a place I hit a lot. Um, it's it's better in fall and spring only because there's not a lot of activity here during the um, off seasons but in those times it is a great place to see migrating warblers and vireos and that type of thing lots of fly catchers i've had good luck with the fly catchers here and again the hummingbirds they do get some of the herons and egrets to this area occasionally. The pond isn't very large, so they don't get a lot of them, but you will see them occasionally. And they will also get ducks. So it's, you know, it's it's a place I like to visit. It There are a lot of birding places in this area, so it's a place I'll stop at. I don't always spend a whole lot of time here, but it is absolutely worth the spot, or worth a stop. Um, the other thing I like about it is that again the uh, tree line is low so the birds are closer to where I am more of an on an eye level and I one of the things I hate is shooting up I don't like to to get a sh shot of a bird from me below and them above me so with the lower bushes and tree line you can get a nice angle on the shots during spring I have seen orioles in here I've seen uh, like I said, lots of fly catchers, lots of warblers. In the off season, they have the normal birds that we have in this area, like the Carolina wrens, the Carolina chickadees, the uh, black crested titmouse, and cardinals, those types of things. They also have um, nice butterfly gardens. So if, if you like butterflies, there's a little bit of butterfly there flying by. If you like butterflies, it's a great place to see them. And again, the hummingbirds, they put out feeders when the hummingbirds are migrating. So it's a great place to see them. The other thing is, um, one of the things I look for in a birding area is something that is not too isolated. I am obviously a woman, so it's a thing that I'm concerned about is my safety. And I have some, uh, you know, not cheap equipment. And so I don't ever want to put myself in a situation where I could have some problems. So this space I like, it's it's in the middle of the city. I don't feel isolated, but it also has security um, cameras on, which is good. So yeah, I, don't, I don't often see a lot of traffic here. So it's something that I'm aware of in lower traffic areas is how safe am I gonna feel. Um, I've also seen deer in here. I think I saw deer just bolt into the bushes there. So there's some other wildlife. Um, Again, nice walking path. It's a nice place to stop. And the uh, nice thing about the birding spots in this area is that both Port Aransas, Rockport, Corpus Christi, the uh, coastal cities in this area have really worked very, very hard to develop their birding um, areas. And they've done a very, very good job of it. And so the nice thing is that when you come down here, you have a variety of places you can go, not only the um, migrants, but the regular birds. We're close to the, to the Gulf 
and so you get a lot of the shorebirds and so there's a tremendous amount of variety and a tremendous um, uh, opportunity to see some different spaces so this is again tool marsh um, it's in rockport it's on business 35 and it's just as i said it's worth a spot stop it's a very very nice birding place hope you enjoyed the tour and as always thank you for watching